Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Dragon City, and this is the heroic race for the High Crypt Keeper Dragon. Here, there's nine days and 11 hours left, and we're on lap six, node five. Here, all we need is a flower and an olive branch, and then we're going to be moving on to lap seven, which is going to be amazing. I cannot wait to cover it, but first, we've got to get there. So we're going to start off by hatching these Terra Dragons and keep that breeding going as well. Beautiful. So here we're off to a good start and you know the drill breed and breed and there we go We just got an olive branch. Oh, yeah, so here this is going super good here All we need left is the flower. So we definitely want to hatch these eggs here. Ooh, come on Terra. Let's go and Slowly but surely we're gonna keep this going and there that dragon's gonna be ready hatch that Perfect and we're just gonna keep this rotation going. We're looking for that flower for hatching the dragon. Yeah, very good. So here, gonna keep that going. And I think that egg is ready. We can place it right there, looking good. And here we have another egg that's ready. Beautiful, place that right there and keep it going. So here, this is going fabulous and keep that breeding going. We're looking to hatch the egg, but this is giving us free Terra eggs, so why not? And very good there. Here, ooh, that's gonna be the next egg that we're gonna hatch. And come on, give us a flower. Oh, nothing there. What about this one? And, oh, still nothing. Okay, so here, we're gonna keep trying. And here, we're gonna keep on breeding. Breed those real quick. And now, we're gonna have to start making space because we need to hatch some more of these Terra Dragons. Ah, uh, beautiful. And here we've got that going on. And come on, give us a flower. And still nothing. Okay, so here, we're going to keep it going. It's going to show up eventually. Here, uh, go ahead and rebreed those. Nice. Breed that right there. And we're going to keep making space as well. Beautiful. So slowly but surely clearing this up. Rock on. That's looking good. And I'm sure, yep, here we go. Hatch some more eggs. And hopefully we get a flower. Come on. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Nope, nothing there. And here we're going to rebreed. I don't think it's going to be this batch. I think it's going to be the batch after this batch. I don't know if my feeling's accurate, but that's what my intuition is telling me. Let's see here. I'm going to sell that one and we can go ahead, place that dragon right there. Place that dragon right there. So in theory, if my intuition is correct here, one of these two eggs that we just bred would be giving us a flower. Now, I'm not sure if that's accurate, but hmm, we're about to find out. Come on, give us that lucky flower. And not there. What about this one? Come on. Oh, nothing there. Okay. So here we're just going to keep this rotation going. Uh, that's looking real good there. And keep rebreeding. There's got to be one coming up here. Now, I've been saving my gold because I know we have a collect gold quest coming up. But here, I'm just going to collect a little bit of it. Not too much. Just a little bit here, especially the food producing dragons there. Hey, nice. Okay, very good. And then here we're going to go ahead and let's see if we can get this hatching that dragon and just going to sell it real quick for some space and then hatching another dragon. Oh, still no flower. Come on. Hey, let's see here. We got to keep this going. I'm going to go ahead and rebreed that and whoops, wrong button here. We're going to go ahead and rebreed there and we definitely have to make some space. So here sell that sell that one and buttes mcgee crushing it here keep that going trying to keep it somewhat organized and here we've got that going there beautiful place that over there and hatch this egg here breed this one and then rebreed so we've got to be getting that flower soon here. Let's see. We're going to rebreed right there. Not too shabby. And okay. Yeah, we still need it. 
I was hoping maybe I just missed seeing it, but no, we do still need the flower there. Uh, we can get rid of that one real quick. Come on. Yes, and we got it. Putang, with that, we have finally made it to da -da -da -da, lap seven. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So here, I'm going to go and claim those rewards. Super stoked about that. And that's looking fabulous here. Ooh, 769,000 food. That's amazing. That's more than three quarters of a million food. Oh, that's epic. Super useful. And now we've got to get items by feeding our dragons and get items by collecting gold. See, I told you we'd need to collect gold here soon. So there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here, this is going to be perfect. We're going to collect a bunch of gold, and then we're going to go feed our dragons. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to collect that there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Clicking all of these, looking real good. And here we're going to move this around. And keep collecting all that gold. And from the looks of it, we're not getting any more gems, which tells me that we must be done with that quest. Yeah, there we go. So now we need 23 beetles. Here... We've got a dragon that we recently hatched, and I cannot wait to feed that dragon. And I don't know if you know what it is, but it's the wreath dragon. Here, this dragon, I'm using it to try a new strategy for the event. When the event is over, you've got the combat battles one and two for the heroic dragon to try to get those heroic dragon orbs. And you can also get some orbs for the legendary and epic dragon, which is this dragon here. So, to save myself some time and to save myself some gems, I summoned this dragon in advance. And here we're going to be feeding it. We just got it to level 15, and I'm wondering, how many beetles did we get in total? Ooh, we're at 17 out of 23. We're so close. Okay, perfect. So here, we're going to keep feeding that specific dragon. Because I want to get this dragon all the way to level 40, I think. Here, um, we want to make sure it's going to be high enough level for the quest battles once we get there. Uh, I know it's not for another, like, almost two weeks, but still, I like being prepared. Woo! And we're crushing it! Here, we just made it to lap 7, node 2. Now, we've got to get items by collecting food, and we have to get idols, uh, items from the battles as well. So here, real quick, we're going to go ahead, collect that food there, and it looks like it's all 30-second food. So there, we've got that going on, and we got our first dragon fruit. Now, it's time to start the encounters. Now here, we're going to get this going. <clears throat> Beautiful. And we're crushing it. So we've got our first battle coming up right here. And of course, the opponent's strong, but so are we for a one-hit victory. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So there, that's looking absolutely amazing, and we crushed it. But now, we're going to have to wait another hour for this battle here. There's a lot of waiting that comes with the encounters. Here, when it comes to collecting the food, there's no minimum wait time, so we should be able to get all 16 of the dragon fruit right away. But for the battle dragons, we have to wait an hour, an hour, an hour, and then for the final one, we have to wait three hours for a grand total of six hours waiting. After this, we're going to have to breed dragons for lap 7, node 3. We're going to need 7 out of 8 of the olive branches. Once we have 7 out of 8, then we have to wait 27 minutes to get the 8th and final olive branch. And then we're moving on to lap 7, node 4, where we're going to have 3 league battles. And we also have to feed dragons uh, 19 out of 25. And then we have to wait about an hour to get the final beetles there. Okay, and then lap 7, node 5. Hatch three dragons out of four, wait an hour and 47 minutes, and then breed. We can breed three out of five, and then we have to wait an hour and 48 minutes. Interesting. Now, one thing, if I'm not mistaken, is that the rewards for lap eight, if you can beat it in a timed amount, you can get double the rewards. So here, if we can finish lap eight and reach lap nine in a certain amount of time, then we can get double the zombie star orbs. That's something I'm actually going to go for. I find that super interesting here. So um, here, one thing. 
Tonight, it's a little bit late. I don't want to finish lap seven, but tomorrow I want to wake up and I'm going to be working on lap eight tomorrow and I'm going to do my best to finish it in the six hours so we can get double the rewards and double the zombie star dragon orbs. Ooh, that would be super cool. So here we've got a lot of work to do and well, a lot of farming to do as well. Here, I'm going to be farming these dragon fruit. About an hour has gone by and here we're at lap seven node two. I finished collecting the items of uh, the dragon fruit with food and we're at 16 out of 16 and I did that with the 30 second food and now we're ready for our second encounter let's go here we're gonna go ahead and choose one of these dragons and hopefully we're gonna get this victory here uh, da, 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 da. I have a good feeling here we're gonna use whirlpool plus and super strong crushed it nice and there we've got to wait another hour now I was thinking about it I forgot to use my free spin of the day and this is probably where I would have used it but then I was thinking about wait tomorrow morning I really want to get the rewards for finishing lap 8 in less than 6 hours so uh, I guess I kind of lose a free spin here since you get one every 24 hours, but I'm going to save my free spin for early tomorrow morning so that I have it to try to beat this uh, lap eight in six hours. So I guess I could have been more strategic about that, but sometimes that's just the way it goes and it's all good. I'm not too worried about the free spin thing and it's super chill. As long as I can make it to like lap seven, node five tonight, I'm good with that. And well, I guess I'll see you in another hour. Good morning, everybody. Here in the heroic race, we've got eight days and 20 hours left and we're on lap seven, node five. Here, I ended up finishing lap seven, node three, which was breeding eight dragons. We crushed that. We got seven out of eight, then we had to wait 27 minutes, and then we got the eighth olive branch. Then, last night, we had three league battles, which I crushed, and I think we finished another league as well. Then we had to feed dragons. For that, we got 19 out of 25 of the beetles, and then we had a min minimum time of 54 minutes to wait, and I managed to wait that time out, finish feeding the dragons, and then we made it to node five, where we had to hatch eggs. I got three out of four, and here we got three out of five of the olive branches. For the flowers, we had to wait an hour and 47 minutes, and for the olive branches, we had to wait an hour and 48 minutes. I ended up falling asleep. So let's go ahead and crush it right here. Let's go. Here for hatching eggs, we've got some archangel dragons there, and hopefully, yeah, that's gonna give us a flower. Yas queen. So here, it's off to a great start, and will we get an olive branch early on? I don't know. Here, okay, perfect. We've got a breed up here. I'm gonna go for that. Maybe that'll give us the olive branch that we're looking. Oh, but that's right, we need two olive branches, so I gotta be careful with that. I don't wanna block myself off right away. Let's see. Here we're gonna go ahead and place that Terra. Here, I am gonna place the Archangel Dragon for now. Here, that's gonna give us a little bit of space. Fabulous. And we're gonna breed there. So now we're looking for those olive branches. Let's get this going and beautiful there so i want to get at least one of the olive branches before we get the other breed otherwise i'm going to block myself off so here we're looking for one olive branch and then we're going up top here we've got one right there and we can go ahead hatch this egg now here it's a brand new morning and i want to be careful i don't want to collect all my gold there's lap eight coming up and i want to be as strategic as i can for that here if i'm not mistaken i've got a bunch of 30 second food still yep okay perfect so we're ready for it here we've got that going on and whoops i forgot to breed this we're gonna go ahead breed right there and breed right there that's looking great and i guess we can get a little bit more of the gold over here so i'm just going to collect that right there looking real good here we're going to go ahead and hatch those eggs make some space awesome and there that's going great here we have that going on right there and let's keep it going here we're going to rebreed we're still looking for that olive branch and come on so here i'm going to collect a little bit of food mix it up a little bit here let's go to the tree of life looks like there might be orbs in the shop what do we have here Ooh, perfect star hunter dragon orbs love it oh yeah and the mold dragon orbs so here i love getting the orbs in the shop every day and there we go okay perfect so there we got all the ones that were available and back to business so here i'm just going to regrow that food 
and we can go ahead and place those dragons. And we still have some space right now. We'll see where the wind blows. Perfect. And here, come on, olive branch. Yes, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. So here we're going to go ahead and keep on breeding and rebreeding. And we got this going on. Yas Queen. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Technically, I'm actually going to wrap this up here. And I'm going to finish this for lap eight. Lap eight, if you finish it in less than six hours, you get double the rewards. So hold on tight because that is what I'm about to achieve. Wish me luck and good luck to everybody out there. I hope that you're doing great with the heroic race and keep Keep it going. Don't forget, to qualify for rewards, you have to make it at least to lap five. If you're under lap uh, four or under, then you won't get any rewards. But once you've qualified, then it's not guaranteed you get a heroic dragon. Either get first place or make it to lap 15, and that will guarantee that you can get the heroic high, ki uh, high crypt keeper dragon. Good luck, everybody, and happy gaming. I hope to see you soon, and make sure you stay tuned for lap eight. That video is going to be coming out later. Happy gaming, everybody. Take care. Peace.